All right, so in this video, we are going to learn how to recognize our slope and our intercept, our y-intercept, in our linear functions. Now, a linear function is represented by this formula over here. We have y equals mx plus c, where m is our slope and our c is our y-intercept. Now, in order to find our slope and our y-intercept, we have a linear equation. We're going to use this example here. And if we write out our example, we have 6x minus 3y equals 9. Now, in order to find our y-intercept, that is where our linear function crosses the x-axis. And so where our function crosses the x-axis, the x value is going to equal 0. Now, we can set x to equal 0 and then we can find the y-intercept. So if we set x to equal 0, this term over here cancels out, and we are left with negative 3y equals 9. Now, in order to find the y-intercept, we have to isolate the y, and so we're going to divide negative 3 on both sides, and so our y-intercept equals positive 9 divided by negative 3, which gives us a negative 3. So we know that our y-intercept equals negative 3, and in order to find our slope, we want to find we, we need to find the coefficient of our x. So our coefficient here is 6, but because we are not in point-slope form, this formula over here, we cannot say that the slope is 6. We have to simplify it into this function here. In order to do so, we are going to subtract 6x on both sides, and we are going to be left with negative 3y equals negative 6x plus 9. All right, now in order to, to completely be in point-slope form, we need to isolate this y over here. So we are going to divide by negative 3 on both sides. And we are left with y equals negative 6 divided by negative 3, which gives us a positive 2x. And positive 9 divided by negative 3 gives us a negative 3. All right, so now we are in point-slope form, and we can tell that our coefficient here in front of the x is 2, so our slope is going to be 2, and just like we found, our y-intercept is going to be negative 3. Now, you can find the y-intercept in two ways. In the first way here that we set the x equal to 0, or you can completely turn this function that we had in the beginning into point-slope form, and then you can easily recognize what your slope is and what your y-intercept is. So in this case, the coefficient of the x is 2, so this is our slope, and our plus c over here, so we have a plus negative 3, so that is our y-intercept. And therefore, m is our slope, 2, and our y-intercept, negative 3. So these are, this is the way to find your slope and y-intercepts of linear functions. And in this case, in our example here, we are going to have answer B as our answer.